they're not having it now and this is when they really need the support and this is how they will shape up few changes as well jaheem williams between the stick tamani sewell the captain former jamaica cricketer as well carlos campbell darius stewart probably the most talented of the midfielders he wears a number 17. devante redmond jimoy jones damani miller kuri mendez marlon pinnacle some business in the transfer window he comes in spent some time at the chapleton maroons last season did their number eight ronaldo brown who has one goal in the season and their player to watch in rohan sewell yeah, and they're, they're, they're trying to strengthen, as you say, in the transfer window. They're just hoping, as you see, new coach Persa um, alongside him, Vanny Clark, who is stated as the technical director. Uh, they will need all the wits that they can put together to really get them out of this rod. Portmore, they are all smiles, and they'll be playing with a 3-5-2 formation. Benjamin Williams, their regular custodian between the sticks. Okila Howard, Stephen Young, who scored in that Mount Pleasant draw. One all, Akeem Mullins, Jaheen Rose, and Nicoy Gale. So they'll be playing with two number sixes, two central defensive midfielders. Interesting. Richard Livingston, the youngster, plays out wide. The stats captain, Emilia Rousseau, who now plays in this new role of centre-back there. Player to watch, Yvonne Walsh, Martin Davis, and teenager Omar. Omar Reed, who, well, might be out of teenage life now, actually, um, back from injury. The full match highlights, T4 official, Odette Hamilton, the lady with the whistle, Portmore United, driving forward with a bit of the play initially, which it was expected in their full blue. An opportunity on the edge of the 18 that fell to Howard. And not the best of strikes. Then this ball into the area. Probably the, arguably the best chance that was Walsh in the first half. And that header just hitting the outside. And yeah, Ronaldo Brown got into the area of Portmore. There was loose defending from the Portmore team. And he should have done better, should have hit the target. Then this strike from Darius Stewart, which was easily held by Benjamin Williams. Siobhan Walsh was busy throughout the 90 minutes. That one, he struck just wide. And then the Rousseau delivery was struck here onto the crossbar from Martin Davis. His best moment in the game, it was a volley. Had Jaheim Williams beaten, but not the crossbar. And then this attempt again. This one fought, fell to Mendez. And Benjamin Williams with a big save, which forced him off the field with injury. Then Portmore came in, and that was the last chance of the first half, which should have been converted from Omar Reed. It wasn't. And he was taken off at half time. Rudolf Austin came in and what a difference he made. Look at this, almost sneaking into the corner. And that was a brilliant save from Jaheim Williams. Just before that, he had an acrobatic attempt in Rudolf Austin. And then this pass, brilliant. Into Siobhan Walsh, who still had quite a bit to do. Jaheim Williams will be disappointed he didn't save it. But he was probably beaten for pace underneath him and into the back of the net. Eight on the season for Siobhan Walsh. Leading goal scorer for Portmore and second on the goal scoring list. Portmore were finally away and that came in the 89th minute for the big number nine. Lime Hall just couldn't recover and Portmore would add to their tally. The two youngsters, Shaquille Henry into Headley of the Geo variety and Henry picking up the return pass. Look at this, this was a lovely move. Lime Hall caught all out of sorts and Shaquille Henry with his third of the season, 2-0 to Portmore. They eventually got the job done. <laughs> 17 shots, five on target for Portmore United. Four on target from nine attempts for Lime Hall but just couldn't get anything in the goal scoring column. There were three yellow cards shown by Odette Hamilton and five offsides, offsides, Portmore all guilty. They were equal share of corners and majority of the saves surprisingly for the Portmore custodians as both Williams spent some time between the sticks. They have the majority of the possession and all the goals. Seven time champions, Portmore United with a two nil win. They go top of the Premier League table, table just for now. Let's hear from our man of the match who is with Dwight Jeremiah. Rudolph, how does it feel at this stage of your career to still be able to come on in a Premier League game here and make the kind of impact you made today? Well, I'm overwhelmed, you know. It's brilliant, you know, and it's three points for my team, you know. Any way I can help my team, you know, I'm glad to help them. Uh, well, while you were on the, the bench, what was the thought going through your mind as you saw your team really not firing in that first half? Well, I, I, I was thinking, you know, we, we weren't doing so well in the final third. 
you know, our decision making was poor. So, you know, we changed around a few things in the, in the second half and, you know, it paid off. What does that say, though, about the youngsters um, requiring more time, you feel? Yes, um, I just think we were rushing the game too much. You know, I think we should have been a bit more patient and just let the ball do the work instead of rushing it. You know, we rushed too many of our final passes and they weren't good. Well, I can't let you go without asking you, how does it feel? You would have been there before, but for the youngsters being top of the table, even for a few hours. Yes, um, before the game, we told the players that um, these are the kind of game um, that is um, very hard to play. Because when you're playing teams like Mount Pleasant, you don't need no motivation. Just the name alone motivates you. So when you're playing Limehall, no disrespect to Limehall, who is down in the table, you need to motivate yourself. And you can see we turn up here a bit flat today, and we nearly pay the price for it. All right, Rudolf, great game. All the best. Thank you, man. Yeah, so there you have it. Rudolf Austin just came on for one half, but was so impactful and played that decisive pass to open the, the scoring here. Um, Persa, for long stretches of it, in fact, in way up into the 90th minute or so, you were in the game. Um, what went wrong? Well, as I saw in the game, um, my feeling is that we played a good 70 minutes a game. Yeah? But after the game as the game gone, the, the guys ran out of gas. The substitutes, though, gas. when they ran out of gas, you brought on some person who should have been well gassed up. They didn't seem to give you that. No. I could hear you shouting at Edwards, not giving you the recoveries and stuff. No, no.